Okay, and I'm back with more Path to the Goat. So let's see here. Schedule fight, of course. Hmm. Who was it I was worried about last time? Fucking Butterbean. Oh, hell. Not ready. Oh, 6787. Good lord. I was worried about Eddie Chambers. Let's do it. Okay. Training. Because you know the toughness is bad. So thank god my allergies are. Uh, Decreased. Less sneezes. Less sniffling. It feels great to be able to breathe. It's the highlight of my day so far. Still get to type my essay for school, but I'll do that afterwards. Alright, so I'm in May. Train skills. So this time I'm not that far down as far as toughness goes, probably because I did the uh, athletic training, which is good. Clearly I'm trying to keep the commentating down to a minimum, I'm sure nobody wants to hear my, uh, my explanations or anything like that. Of course, I'm the only one that's viewed my stuff so far, but not a big deal. All right, let's see in the ring All right. real competition. Training, simple. Oh, not as simple as I thought it would be. It's been a few days. Been playing The Witcher, been playing Xenoverse. And uh, I'm going to play The Shining Force, because that's one of my favorite tactical RPG games. But it's just the original for Sega, not the Resurrection of Dark Dragon. Which I'm okay with, I like the original quite a bit. Hopefully if I get if I get one more subscriber by that point, then I'll probably play through the second one also. It takes very little to uh, to meet my viewing needs. As long as there's one person out there that enjoys your stuff, that's all that matters. Because ultimately you're doing it for them and yourself. So I got a Chambers, huh? Chambers. Nice. Nice. He outdoes me with all his punches, except for I think I have the right hook to the body. I, coming, kid. Uh, I think that's the punch he will not be able to stand. Alright, I'm gonna back off a little bit, just work my counter magic. Get my 40,000. in the face. It's all right. You cannot believe how satisfying it is to either get a knockdown or to catch someone with a powerful punch. Just feels great. Almost as if my uh, my tactics are pretty good. So even though I could get out punched to death Thanks to my speed and reflex, I can definitely keep them on their uh, keep them on their toes. Excuse me for not eating yet, so you're gonna hear me crunching on some stuff possibly. Ow.
Oh boy. Loading times don't get any better. Let's see how you do in the ring. Oh. Twenty-five, I'll be okay with that. It won't be my peak conditioning, but it'll be pretty close. Which I should be stressing peak conditioning because of chambers, but it's all good. I believe in my own ability for the most part. This guy is just not going in. He's just sticking and moving. And this is like the worst type of situation I can be sparring in right now. Oh, come on. I'm cringing so hard. Oh, come on. You mother fucker. God damn it. It's all good. My constitution just didn't get maximum, but that's fine. Gotta be careful who you train with. Some go in and some go out. It's much easier to punish a more aggressive boxer as a counter puncher. We'll see here. Um, let's do blocking. Block strength. Only two points there. Hmm. Heart. No resistance. No, let's go one. A little bit better blocking, better right hooks to the body, and some jabs. Because my jab game is terrible. The accuracy could not be any worse. God, he's 35 and... Oh, three. It's okay. Will he get his first loss? Who knows? I know I said less sniffling, which is the case, but I'm also eating some spicy chips, so whatever. This space is quite nice. Helps clears up sinuses. Good evening, right. everybody, and I welcome you to Wednesday Let's night. Do this. Oh, this is okay. Welcome to the Mexico City right. Plaza here in out. Mexico City for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. Each yeah, man comes into this fight supremely Whoa. confident yeah, he's expecting got some to deliver a W. And he's sticking it. Alright, so I'm gonna have to he's turning into a star in this sport. Why? figure this out. Because he we got ten rounds. I can figure it out within ten rounds. See. What should we expect to see of that power early on? Well, whether or not he's fighting a tricky guy tonight, can he come up with a device, a way to take that power and get it to the target? There's 
the headshot, but he parries it away. He seems pretty uh, defensive. Keep moving, keep moving. But the shots are going to go here in this round. They're going to piss me off. Showing you that sublime Man, I'm too short. Right now with that two punch combo. And he's quick. Man, this is going to be a tougher fight than I thought. One. The right hand scores well. nice I might have to Eddie hope Chambers. for the knockout at this point, though. Good job on the two punch well, not combo too bad. by Lee. Let's continue where I'm at. I'm getting more nervous than I thought. Well. But 35 wins, three. Losses well and one draw. That time. Trying to and I'm pretty sure he's in the top the 100 as far as now. Up top with the right hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Oh man, that he's right got the jabs and the straights. Like motherfucker. And we oh, the, the body blows. He's just tapping me in the stomach. Relax. I think Doing so far so good. It's got to wear him out slowly. Here we go. Round two is underway. Our range is... That was oh, nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent. And then a oh, good damn. By Lee. He's quick. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. It's combination punches. Lee's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. That's why I got that jab. Get the stick uh, stick counters punches. for the jab. Because I know with the taller fighters, Eddie I'm going to have to work the jab. With a big right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. But clearly, my arm length is only so far. My devastating game still only comes from inside. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Two snapping jabs by Eddie Chambers. Uh -huh, and he's tired. Ooh. Well, I like the way he went to the body with that hook. It's okay, got him in the corner. Got him in the corner. Shot. Now he gives a left. Ooh, that would have hurt. I'm glad. glad that really missed. good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Eddie Chambers. Eddie Chambers I can't tell who's winning this damn fight. That time oh, that hurt. Able to get out of the way. Damn. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Quick. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Lee. A shooting right hand by Lee. All right, that's it. Oh. You have to keep your distance. Stay He's really tall, him. boss. Keep He's that really jam. tall. Relax, relax. Right. You can do this. You know you got this. The sharpness of his punches are actually really damn good. And round too. number three the is underway. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Lee scoring with that right hand. Good block. Eddie Chambers is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere oh, to be was found. The hook. It wasn't a power, but very clean offense from defense by Lee. If I get him with the cyclone up, I'll be happy. But there's no way. No way. I might be able to. I just gotta wear him down. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Lee. My straights are terrible. Coming to the halfway so point of this third round. See, I almost got countered right there from throwing a straight. That's why I don't do it. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. A straight would be best to use as a counter. 
Because if I throw it and then dodge it, which will happen most of the time, I will get countered back in that way. Eddie Chambers' punch is far off the target. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Right. Oh, man. He's, he's more exhausted than I am, for sure. Eddie Chambers is at That's his great. best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Last Keep 10 seconds of mind. round number three. If I can. All right. All right. Eight, nine. That's fine. I should still be at, like, hopefully 70-something. 70 74, 75. 77. That's better than I thought. Lee's off to a really good start tonight. So this far, is the first time we've looked at just had me winning this. You can see that he has a clean sweep through three rounds. Good block by Lee. I don't think I landed my punch. And an excellent uppercut by Lee. If I did, it was definitely not straight and jabs. So I think there's some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Ooh. Eddie Chambers lands the uppercut and he's holding. Unload! Unload! Wow, what an uppercut! Oh, they both land flush That's with right, uppercuts. The Wear them out and push them towards the corner. Make sure they stay there. They will try to oh, he took like some that. damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Not much action. Oh, you know, as he just ties up. Spots. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Back and forth they go. Each man getting the best of it. He's throwing some devastating punches right now. Accuracy at issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Stay away from the inside. And he ties up on the inside. Well targeted right hand by Lee. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. <laughs> nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Oh, damn you. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. It's okay. Oh, that was the straight. See what I mean by the straights are best for counters? Please. Commitment to the cause of being the aggressor really had him in front in that last round. Look at his opponent. Damn, he's hell is higher. 44%. Back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one sided. Hard to see the scorecards. He's coming definitely into gonna get knocked down. Hopefully, knock out before the end of the fight. There's no way. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Did you see that? What a powerful hook to the head by Lee. Sorry, I'm just going to get in on him right now. Make him play that uh, Well game. He is damn it. Did you Ooh. see that? Hey. He was up for cut scores and knocked down there. Boy, did he have leverage on that. Yeah, he precision well, I mean, the accuracy he could have been better. That punch. That's, That's why, why it had the power. The ropes. himself together here now he beat the count but still a lot of work to do yeah a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs can't move around there wobbly right now so what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk walk to the ropes kill some time make the referee come in between damn what a big shot. that's oh, it now stay down pass. chambers can he get up after going down a second time man Okay, then. Is over. I was worried for no reason. Much too much for his opponent. 
Another knockout for him. And at the same time, he wasn't a terrible, a terrible fighter compared to those. He just lacked stamina. And that's exactly why he packs the stands. This fight is over. Awesome. Boy, you gotta love a power See puncher what when I he's on his game. Yeah, jabs and straight. He kicked my he knew how ass with that he accuracy. Which punches to choose at the right time? Because there was no way in hell. And then I had no choice but to get in counters, uppers. Left hook didn't do too bad. I only threw five. The straights, yeah, there was no way. Tried it, didn't work. Huh. I was not guarding the body. I couldn't guard the body at all. <laughs> Who's this? Who could be hitting me up at this time of day? Well, not important. So I proved to Eddie Chambers that I deserve to be ranked number 31. Hmm. Eustace Fletcher. He's taller, lengthier. So his straights, his hooks, his left uppercut is just as good as mine. That's my best punch. It's a damn shame. Hmm. Well, that looks like an all-around ass-kicking for me. So I'm going to take it back a notch. See how things go if I when I find another counter puncher. Let's see what you got. No, no home gym. No home gym. Hmm. I'll go Philadelphia again. Just to save the money. I'll do some bigger trainings a little bit later. I'm ready. Let's go. Train. How bad is it? 81. So that's not bad at all that I'm still at 81. That means, uh, so your your skills are going to drop either way between matches during rest sessions and stuff like that. But if you uh, continue to do well with the trainings and get the champion level or contender level, you'll notice that the drops will be, cons I wouldn't say considerably less, but I think prior to this I was like 78 overall without training, now I'm at 81. So some of the conditioning still sticks around. I think maybe it has something to do with how far in advance you pick a fight as well. Not quite sure. So if you go too far, of course, that's asking for trouble. This guy's slow. But he's coming in, so that's good.
to hit him with combos, but this guy doesn't really throw punches, does he? He uh, he throws one and guards. difficult fights, so I need to consistently at least contender or champion. Always going for champion, but contender is just as okay for the most part from one of the trainings. So hopefully my next one I'll get the, uh, the champion. Okay, see, that went up a considerable amount for contender. If I get contender again, everything will be filled. But if you get champion, that's an extra 600 experience. Which can prove to be significant. Okay. Um, I think I don't even have to, uh, I don't even have to do another sparring. If you only have a few points and you don't have the patience to do all the sparring. Because it is a lot of fighting. Patience can wear thin. But if you're like me and always want to keep your uh, your game stepped up. I like the training. For the, for the sparring. But if you're trying to uh, just get it over with real fast. You don't get as many points for the maze bag or any of the other uh, trainings. Go. But I mean it still helps. I punched one time. Okay, okay, that was nice leads, kid. One punch. Okay, okay, nice leads, kid. I punched one time. Nice work, slip in the bag. Okay, okay, that was nice leads, kid. Oh. One punch. Great work leading out of the way. So for the, uh, if you go through this without, like, messing up, you should easily get the 15,000. If you mess up towards the end, it's kind of hard to get back up there. I'm not sure if you get more points on this one for going over or not, or if it's still a flat, whatever amount. I punched one. That was uh, nice for the S's and G's, I'll just keep it going. One punch. Okay, okay, that was nice leads, kid. I punched one time. Okay, okay, nice leads. Find it really hard to believe. You look at the high scores Good at the beginning, stuff. and it's like Tyson 500, Ali 400. Pretty sure you can get more than that after doing one successful weave. Oh, and you only get 450 for doing champion. So, most experience goes to the sparring. And that's because the weaving is easier, but you get less experience if you hit champion. Which isn't still, like I said, not a big deal. I just did it to get my uh, conditioning right and not have to waste my time through more sparring. Um, whew. Already, huh? Flash knockdown. That will make the uppercut killer. Um, let's go. Hmm. Blocking head movement speed. It gives me four additional speed just by doing that. Three additional next to weave range just by doing that. Hmm. I think for now head movement is okay. It's 
since we're getting into the bigger, the, uh, the more higher ranked pound for pound fighters, I should just focus a little bit defensively. I wish there was an EPO boxing game that was similar to this. That'd be dope. I'd throw all my money, what little money I have, right at that game. Right, Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside it Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the State Palace. Don't care too much about the intro. They're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. This is a 10 round. He's also a counter punch. Really looking so forward to seeing this action here tonight. Similar to He's developed a very good uppercut. Teddy, he says he wants to go head hunting with it. Oh, he does. I mean, that's the ultimate goal. But he's doing a lot of head moving. But he starts downstairs. He bangs defensive. it downstairs a little bit. Get your attention a little there. He sets it up, and then he brings it up, and he's very effective. Oh, no, and there he goes. Good right hand. Keep pushing. Oh, what a devastating hook by Lee! When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw like we see here tonight, Teddy, that right jab is right up against his jab. That's absolutely right. And you know what? That's a great point because there lies maybe the greatest advantage for the southpaw. See, because the counter the puncher, I mean, doesn't feel comfortable he's much more shift. defensively sound. It doesn't land. It doesn't have the so clearance have that it usually has. And therefore, he doesn't use it, and he hurts himself. Stop weaving your head. I'm just going to pound the body the entire time. Nice strike after catching one by Lee. <laughs> Martinez is proving to be elusive. Oh, damn, that was a bad wild punch I threw. Got countered for it. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, he leaves the uh, half circle. Not an accurate hook stick. at all. Not Last 10 any. seconds of this first round. Well, you can hold the block mod. Please, landing a but combination here. Yeah, that's what he does when he's at his very Move around the end of the round. Dance around the stage here. Oh, man. Of how to be so that wasn't bad. Got 12% still. Yeah, it's a good example of how, total. as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything. You know, he wants to make everything So count, I think at this point, I'm winning. It gives hope so I can just that the relax. other guy can come back because there's spots where... You can out hustle. Well, oh damn, that was devastating. You could just okay, then. I see you. <laughs> trying to push him off his damn guard. Lee's an undefeated fighter coming into this fight. Ooh, that was Lee. great. Lee's putting forth that great hard three, work he did in four training punch camp flurry. there, landing a Three of those were counters. Solid left hand to the head. I'm gonna get you with the money maker. Good job. It was sudden. Oh it damn it! If I dodged that and got you, that would've been it. Halfway through round number two, Martinez is hurt by Ooh. a big shot. Clearly okay. hurt. But holding on. He's hurt, and that's, that's what matters the most at this point. Christmas. Uh, Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Oh, shit. There's the combo to the body. What a great also, for the sake of uh, right getting to the goat, nice I'm going to try to play a little bit faster. Lee. Make the... Uh, not like box faster, because clearly that's going to take patience, the but the head there. I'm going to try to shorten the videos a little bit. Not, uh, I don't want to say 
week was because I told myself I wasn't going to edit much of anything out. But, uh, for instance, this I've been recording for like 35 minutes now. I'll probably end it after this fight because that, that shows like two fights during one go around. So I feel like that would be better for me at this point. Not that there's anybody the watching and giving me feedback, he was but, able to you know, stun his opponent, personal, personal well, choice. Gives me time to play more, rapper, time to spend time hand. with the, uh, what do you do? spend time with the girl, school. Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, else. how he set it up. Don't think about just a big punch that landed. I want to try to get as much recording oh, as I can. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. That's that. That's that push uppercut right there. Whenever they're defensively sound and close to a corner, just give them a push. Push will lift up their guard and push them back. But if you're against the ropes or in the corner, they can only go back so far. So it drops the guard and sometimes leaves them with a uh, opening blow of your choice. I wanted to try to reach him with the uh, the hurricane, now, but you know, the, the cyclone, inside. hurricane, cyclone upper. Ooh, but it's uh. And he decides to tie up again. Like that. See, it's too too difficult to do. He scored well after being hit himself. Oh. Good block by Martinez. Ah, oh, damn you. Halfway through this round. Gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Come on. Comes across oh, shit. with a hook up top. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shot. To get well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, back. because body work pays off for you later in the fight. And no sense in wasting weave. time. Just get not right bad. To it. Well but targeted left up. hand by Martinez. I like the way he went better up top that time with the line, hook. Yeah. Accurate shot, straight right hand. I was gonna say in. better weed, but clearly he's gone. Punch didn't come Damn! Alright, back up. Don't lose your head. Not this time. Oh. And now committing to that midsection as the target hook. with the combination punching. Ten seconds to go in this round. Boy, that worked out really? well with the uppercut. After the bell again, I'm tired of that. Seven, twelve. He's got to be a what? Seventy-two. Close. It's still way up there. It's not bad. Lee's in complete control. This still fight leading early this on. Uh, here, Teddy, he's up three zip on your scorecards. But even more important than that, oh. he may be able to end this fight. He's put his man down on the canvas. That, well, that punch was really slow for some reason. Him, giving him a lot of surface, and he's finding that surface. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. With some combinations. There he is, zoning in the old one-two. Ooh. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh, that was the flash knockdown. The Cyclone upper wide open. Before he could even throw the punch. Just one more time. That is a thing of beauty. Right on the chin, too. That was satisfying. One, two, Let's go. Three, Stay down. Martinez's yeah. trainer is Sorry. thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he's he wants to, to see how he'll react. Halfway through round number four. That almost did it. I mean, I had the, uh, the power modifier on too, but it just didn't get him. There you go. Even though it was a counter. You won't get it every time. Oh, he returns fire with a left hand. Oh! Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was Oh, you're just gonna throw punches way. now, he huh? He does not look good at all. 
I mean, I had a chance, but he's able to turn things around. He was stunned. No big deal. Hey, remember when you have that eraser, that power? Damn. It's okay. I'll let him dance. Yeah, right upper. Or left upper, excuse me. Cycle upper. Every time. Boom. Under the chin again. I know he's getting irritated by that punch. That's how you counterpunch a counterpuncher. Knockout victory for him. Kind of piss him off a little bit, get close with a couple punches, the show and then force him to start throwing style. punches back. Ten out of eleven. And that's counter. what his trainer He's wanted. His trainer four. was even telling him, "Step it up a little but bit." But due to his length, he also landed a few more punches. Than I'm Joe Tessitore as far as accuracy goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna run into that a lot. I'm gonna call it the EPO syndrome. You get your ass kicked, but the only way you can win is by knocking them out. That is my game plan. That's what happens when you're on the cusp of 200 pounds and have no choice but to fight with the heavyweights. Alright, KO percentage up. Everything's looking pretty good. Up to rank 30. Gotta get to that number one spot before I get too old. Decrepit. Anyways, till next time.